Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez back again. I hope that you guys were able to see my video where I showed you uh, how to use QImage to produce, or Lightroom even, to produce a print, a test print containing both the black and white or monochrome and the full color standard image. And that will give you in one sheet of papers the ability to determine how good your printer is at producing a nice neutral monochrome print now be aware like I said in the video that you may have a bit of a cast regardless of how good your profile is papers have a color to their paper base so in the case of very artsy uh, no OBAs at all meaning optical brightening agents a lot of these fiber-based papers, they have a warmish tone to them. So on their very own, they will impart a slight warmth to your finished print. So if you're printing something absolutely dead on neutral, at least from your screen's perspective, they may have a slight tint. Now you're able to, in most Epson and most Canon printers, especially the higher end units, you should be able to access black and white mode or advanced black and white on Epson and manually adjust that ever so gradually to remove any bit of global warmth or coolness for that matter. It depends on your paper. Every paper will have a different look, if you will. So let me show you what that looks like. Double print right on one sheet of paper. And on Q Image is easy. Just go to print, choose five by seven, Say you're using a letter size paper, choose five by seven and load one of each. In fact, if you choose four by five, you can probably load four different types of standard images. If you're wondering where to get those, join my Facebook group. There's, there's a lot of people there that are willing to also help you. I hardly ever have to stick my finger into the uh, mix, if you will, because so many people are helping each other and that's what I wanted to create but there you will find once you are accepted and please answer the questions and I'll tell you right after I get done with this what I am getting recently which is really a little bit odd so get accepted and then go to the files tab and in that files tab you will find many types of files that you can download including a big batch of these images or you can download them individually I also have ICC profiles and other things that you can download and use absolutely free there is no charge so when people are applying this is just for your information I know that you guys are not going to do this but I guess because I'm getting a certain level of notoriety I'm getting a lot of spam and so a spam applicant usually will have a very strange foreign sounding name which you have to wonder is that a real name and they will answer the three questions with very random responses usually dealing into the kind of like porno like language okay of course those people get rejected and blocked so i will ask you what printer you're interested in i will ask you how deep you want to get into this hobby and I even forget what the third question was but anyway or how long you've been doing this if at all so join the Facebook group if you do Facebook join the Facebook group and that way you will be able to have access to again the large community that I am building over 7,000 viewers or members at this point and also that file tab, which you can then access and download whatever you wish and I occasionally will upload new files as I come across them so that is it again do this don't spend two sheets of paper in order to determine whether your printer can produce a color print that matches this and again don't judge me by what you're seeing here this is perfectly neutral I'm trying to dial in the white point on my camera now that I got another light here 
and trying to get that dialed in so that we can get as neutral a result as possible. But if you look at this, in my viewing uh, light setup in the back room, neutral, they're all neutral. So the idea, the goal, of course, is if you can get this to be neutral and this to be neutral, why the heck can't you get your images to look neutral? And that is sometimes a struggle because there are some factors involved. You're going to edit your images or you're not going to ever, ever edit those so-called evaluation images. You cannot. They are standardized. They are perfect to begin with. They require zero editing. The idea then is going to be you want your monitor to match that result. And once you get that, as you are viewing that, you're prepping those images to be printed, and you print it, leave your, leave your application open, and then you're going to compare this, as you're looking at it, to what you see on your screen. It has to match. If it doesn't match, then your screen needs to have a certain adjustment through calibration once again. It might end up being your white point may have to be adjusted up or down. Up will make it cooler. Down will make it uh, warmer. With D65 or Delta 65 being daylight. Okay? So keep that in mind. Match that to this perfect output. And you're good to go. From now on, whatever you edit, you can actually trust what you're seeing. Otherwise, you cannot trust what you're seeing and if you cannot trust what you're seeing how can you edit it right you're you're editing but you really have no clue what you're editing because it might be slightly off and then your results are going to reflect the actual condition of the image you're sending to the printer not what you're seeing on your screen you see you follow me so print that standard image both of them if you want to and then make sure your screen matches that Remember, you're not altering those images. Okay, that is it for now. Thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And as always, happy printing, everyone. Bye-bye.